Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and a comment. That really helped my channel to grow. I hope you will enjoy the video. Today's turning is a cracked cherry bowl. I will show an alternate way to fill the cracks without using expensive epoxy. The bowl is rough turned around two months ago and it has been in the kiln and it's very dry. My moisture meter couldn't even measure any moisture in it so maybe it's a little too dry, I don't know. But I will definitely give it a chance. The cherry wood is a crutch piece I have from a tree cut down last year and the grain is running in all possible direction. Right now I'm just trying to get the bowl round again. It has warped quite a bit. Okay, you can see the cracks and the grain running in all direction. I decided to take down the edge a bit and then take some wood off inside of the bowl to get it uh, more in balance. I went back to the outside and did the final shape.
I almost put the hand on the bowl there. It's a bowl that breaks your finger, this type. So be careful if you turn bowls with holes in them. The final shear scraping and then I'm done with the outside, I'm going to the inside of the bowl. and removing the last tool marks with the negative brake scraper. It's time to get all the cracking faults. Some of the cracks, uh, the large one you can see running straight through the bolt there is running all the way through. And the way I fill them is using nail glitter powder. I uh, got from my daughter. She doesn't use it anymore and I found it was very useful to use in bowls and it gives a nice different look. When you use the glitter you need to get as much of it down in the crack before applying the CA glue. The more you get down the, the less you need to fiddle with it afterwards. And at the same time you don't want to have a lot of extra glitter and CA outside of the wood because it's getting very very hard and it's very rough with the, the gouge. When you use the bowl gouge you get maybe two run over before you need to sharpen again. It dulls the gouge very very fast. What I do is I use a carbide cutter to begin with to take off uh, the most of the mixture and then do the final work with the ball gouge. I use the CA accelerator and that makes it 
possible to finish turn the bowl right after applying the mixture of glitter and CA. And here you can see I start by using the carbide square cutter to rough off the CA and the glitter. At this stage, after applying the CA and glitter, it is the fifth or sixth time I have to sharpen the gout. But I think the end result is uh, worth all the sharpening. I sanded the bowl from grid 80 to grid 400. And to clean it off, I used denatured alcohol and then I applied two coats of sanding sealant. I gave it a run with the abrasive paste and at the end I gave it the Hampshire Sheen gloss finish wax. I've been asked a couple of times to show how I take off the tenon. I normally uh, try and use the cold yours or I use a plate to just press uh, on but uh, here it is that is how I do it thank you very much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe like and hit the notification bell below and please comment in the comment section that greatly helped my channel to grow have a nice day and stay safe out there